Okay, so this will be the second YouTube. Here we are, we're drifting out in space. We just came through that wormhole back there. Okay. And we're in a new solar system called One. We're going to fly to Amarillo and Planet Texas. Alright, so we click Amarillo, enable ballistic computer for Amarillo. That'll pop up some indicators, okay? So all those different flags popped up, they give you an indication where on the screen your widgets are. So as before, the yellow one is where you're going. As usual, we'll get sucked in towards the sun. And here's where we want to go, Planet Texas. So the red indicates where Amarillo is now and the orange indicates where it will be. So we're already moving pretty close to it. I just need to give it a little bit more thrust to correct the course. So I'm pushing down essentially because the indicator was far above it. What I'm looking at is these numbers. I want these to go to zero. And it's moving pretty fast, so we ought to be able to run into it. it takes a little bit of time to get used to the system, but it's basically like asteroids, only in 3D. Once you get going, you keep going. All right. So we're gonna do an entry maneuver. We'll see if I crash or not. Right now the ship's invincible. All right, let's see how these paths lined up. All right, pretty close. So I'll just push it over to the left a bit. The yellow's where we're going, the red's where our target is, and the orange is where our target will be at our closest point. All right, so you notice the status indicator said you will enter the atmosphere of Texas with this relative speed, which would probably be way too fast. If the ship was gonna catch on fire, we'd have to fire retro rockets or something like this. The ship's not equipped with that kind of stuff. Probably the first player ships will be. The ship was created with the in-game editor, which I'll show in some other YouTube, I guess. All right, so it seemed like we were moving pretty slow, but as you get close, you realize we're moving pretty fast. We'll see if I crash or not. Also, you can get ejected off of the atmosphere, just like in real life. I'm gonna fire uh, some bullets, and you'll see them. When they enter the atmosphere, they burn like a meteor. All right, okay. Well. Looks like I crashed. But that's alright. So it happens pretty fast, huh? So in the future, you have to be moving slower to land. And then I would have just called the ship burned up in the atmosphere there, I think. Okay, here we are back on a planet in the daytime. You can see this is where we need to go to get to Amarillo. Um, we're moving away from it. That This thing on the right has got some bugs in it right now. It tells you incorrect information. Fun, fun. Okay. So, if we go in this direction, here you can really see the distinction of the different kind of biomes. Flying along. Alright, let's shoot another bullet so you can see the... Uh, oh, it came back down out of the atmosphere. So the idea is it's burning up in the atmosphere, the, the round I fired. See it fly off there. So what happens when we hit the ground? Oh, fun! It looks like this city may be on the middle of the water, or not. Maybe it's just over the horizon. Oh, it's still over the horizon. I don't currently have a. Yeah, cities can currently be created in the middle of the water. I just have to tell it not to allow that to happen. And once we get players, players are going to create most of the cities. So this, uh, this city is kind of right on the border, or maybe in the water. All right, so we're going to slow down a little bit, nose down. OK. All right, here's the city, Amarillo. And we're going to fire some some rounds. See what when they hit, they create these little nuclear bomb clouds and tell you how many points you got for the kill. So those miss. You can shoot the cities. Let's see if this one hits. Dud, I guess. That's a bug. 
So there's 77 points for hitting the city. And we can really shell it. Oops. That was the gas, not the bullets. Okay, so. Just a second pass. Because I hit the wrong button. Yeah. Alright. Well, we managed to crash into the water. There's the city of Amarillo <laughs> right on the surface of the water. You can see a wormhole, at least on my screen you can, right up here. I'll take off again. And... Now, one of the interesting things, the uh, the bombs in this game, so we, we hit the city and then this menu here will tell you what you can do in the city, like buy ammunition or whatever. So in this game, uh, the the bullets, if you fire, they have a proximity fuse on them, and uh, they're too close to your ship right after they fire, so they, they you have to build this into the weapons eventually, but the default ones, they don't arm for two seconds, so when you fire a shot and they land right on the ground right in front of you, they haven't armed yet, and so they take two seconds to detonate, and they sit on the ground and then detonate, and that's what you were seeing there. Um... So I think that's most of what I wanted to show. Um, I'll show you a little bit more of the ship. I'm going to switch. So this switch to, um, I guess, back in the ship. Though I don't see the firing indicator. Here's a rotating view outside of the ship. You can see the ship's half in water. And this was created with the in-game ship editor. Um, you'll be able to add your own decals and colors and, you know, obviously. Um, this ship has about five components, I believe. A fuel tank, a gyro, uh, thruster, battery, something else. And then you, you wire it up to the control interface. But like I said, that'll be a different thing to see. So, I guess we'll call at the end. There's a lot of other interesting things going on under the hood. Oh, here you can see through the planet. That's not very fun. Let's go back. Um, here we are zooming all the way back in. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll call it it. Thanks for watching.